Well, Leo, uh, very good win today. What did you make of the team's performance? Um, yeah, really pleased for lads. Um, yeah, they worked away well last week. It's always good focus um, from the younger players. You know, some of the more experienced guys helping them out. Um, and then this week we had a number of guys in from clubs um, around the province, which is great, isn't it? Um, so very pleased now overall with the way the lads have just applied themselves. Is probably the big thing. And, and how was the week? As you said, we integrated a number of uh, players from AIL clubs. How did the week go? Um, good. Yeah, no, I thought the attitude was great. You know, so as I said, like the more experienced guys are helping out. Um, you know, he likes a Reese there starting in the team, um, all the way down to some of the youngest academy guys, you know, Idsel King, someone like that coming off the bench today, he hasn't featured in the senior team thus far, so really pleasing in that regard. A um, couple of guys in from Trinity, um, so Collie Hogan, big Tom Connolly. Tom has been with us um, during the course of pre season, he's been in the past and featured in some A games, so get him in a senior team is fantastic. Um, Cormac Daly, again, another player with Clontarf. Um, great attitude. Um, he was with us during pre season again, so it's nice to see those guys rewarded being in a senior team playing against an international team. Um, and then the Ternier lads as well. So uh, Connell uh, Boomer and uh, Harrison Brewer didn't feature. Harrison was actually named in the team earlier on the week, but unfortunately he had to pull out. Um, so, really, really pleasing to see those guys. You know, perform in Leinster jerseys. So, um, yeah, lots of things to be uh, happy about um, in terms of performance specifically. Like, you know, we, I thought there lots of good stuff in the first half with lots of plenty of changes in the second half. It gets probably loses a bit of rhythm and cohesion. So, um, but yeah, we are learning plenty about the game. That's probably what we wanted. Um, you're sort of finding out about some of the young players and how they deal with the challenges of a coming together, but um, trying to implement some of the things that we're trying to coach during the course of a week so um, plenty for us to fo- or to look back upon um, and um, yeah coach will learn plenty from the game. It was great today that so many AIL players were rewarded with a, a senior appearance but the AIL like it, it's a stepping stone for a lot of our academy week, players week in week out and it, it really is a, a great part of our pathway isn't it? Yeah like and we get to see you know some of the academy guys on a regular basis in the AIL how they stack up against guys that are playing clubs and you know some of the guys in playing clubs are are very very strong perform strongly on a week to week basis so as I said it's great to see some of those guys getting a reward there today um, and for the young guys yeah it's still a massive part the games you know you, you need to play games to to keep focusing and improving all the time and um, for us it's you know there's there's a great challenge trying to bridge that gap between you know amateur rugby and professional rugby um, and underage so um, the more we see of some of those club players the better I think um, so yeah that's why I thought it was a really useful exercise for us and um, hopefully it's something we'll be able to do later in the year as well and the atmosphere today it was it was a great crowd you said uh, it'd be worth nipping out of school or work early for and it was, it was worth it in the end um, yeah, it was great yeah um, plenty of shitty people in Dublin um, which is great to see so um, be nice if we could adopt some of that fan base as well so making plenty of noise out there um, but yeah no it's a good occasion now and we're, we're obviously delighted to get a good win and and next week now Glasgow uh, carrying this momentum into into that week should help as well um, yeah no totally different challenge there next week so um, we'll, we'll see how all the guys uh, come through the international games or the international game obviously tomorrow um, lots of good stuff is taking place during the course of November so uh, we'll see how everyone pitches up uh, some guys will get managed other guys will come back in um, and we have two big URC games which leads us into Europe so Glasgow and Ulster at the RDS um, and again it's the the crowd piece again trying to get back and um, build that connection I think will be important for us um, you know so th- obviously today has been a good exercise and just you know getting us ready for next week because it's back to serious business at the league because um, you know we're seven games into 18 game season in the league and it's you know it's so important that we're battling out for every single point but there's there's the bigger picture in terms of Europe as well and making sure we're we're building that cohesion part and um, getting into a bit of form again so you know, we left off off the back of seven good wins it's now trying to pick up from where we left off but that doesn't just naturally happen so got to work hard now um, so a number of guys will come back in see how they all are next week and um, yeah it's just trying to build that form momentum um, into Europe in particular because Europe the way that competition structure is just four games so it doesn't really leave much margin for error at all so and we very tough start away in Racing in La Harve so um, yeah huge period for us now as a, as a club so um, lots to look forward to.